Hey, welcome back everybody. Today I got a great one for you that I'm not seeing talked about much around in the media, not really surprising. It definitely deserves way more attention than what it's getting. And it's probably not getting attention because as usual, the media is just trying to cover their own asses. You may remember back in 2020, it was exposed that Dr. Fauci had actually been funding coronavirus research at the very Wuhan lab that people have theorized the coronavirus escaped from. Ever since then, the media has seized on anybody who dares suggest that the virus came from China or even worse the Wuhan lab which doesn't really make sense because many in the media and many high-ranking officials have said that there's a very good likelihood that it did come from the Wuhan lab and we can't really tell because China isn't being forthcoming but before we get to that you got to check out this exchange between a Newsmax reporter and Jen Psaki yesterday on this very question excellent and then on the coronavirus um, it's a matter of public record that Dr. Fauci and the NIH funded gain of function uh, experimentation research at the Wuhan lab of virology. And given the questions about that lab, why would Dr. Fauci in the US fund that kind of experiments, that kind of research in a Chinese lab? The fun, I'm sorry, I can't hear you super well. What was the beginning part of your com of your thing of your question? I said that the NIH and Dr. Fauci had provided funding to the Wuhan lab of virology. That's the lab, lab in question when we talk about the lab leak theory. And given that gain of function research is dicey, why would the U.S. fund that in China? Why would I'm Dr. Fauci? I, I'm happy to send you to the NIH about more specifics of what program they funded and more details of that. Now, I, I do have one more follow-up on okay. that because the, the president hasn't really weighed in. Dr. Fauci is one of the voices who discredit the lab leak theory, but now there's more officials in the Biden administration, like the, the director of national intelligence, the CIA director, and now also the NIH director who say that this cannot be ruled out and there's calls for more investigation into it. Who does the president agree with, Dr. Fauci or the other officials? Does he think this it was a lab leak? Well, the president has said, and I've said from here many times, that there needs to be a credible, independent investigation uh, through the World Health Organization, and that one that relies on data, relies on participation from China and other uh, countries that may have information. That's certainly something everybody has called for, and we look forward to that happening. Why? spoken with President Xi about the origins of the coronavirus yet. He said him, uh, just a few weeks ago he hadn't yet. Uh, I think we have given a readout of his call and also that the president believes there should be an independent investigation led by health experts um, and one where their data is provided that's provided transparently to our medical uh, and science experts here in the United States and we look forward to reviewing that. that. We're going to have to go on. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Emerald. I think you've had plenty of time today. More. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Oh boy, she really didn't like that line of questioning, did she? Where are the rest of the reporters on this question? It seems pretty important that Dr. Fauci, Saint Fauci, had something to do with the funding going to that Wuhan lab. And it's even stranger that when Dr. Fauci himself comes out and says, oh no, 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 that's not from the Wuhan lab, you would think that reporters, actual journalists, would be interested in investigating that further. But no, and the reason is the media is so invested in Dr. Fauci. As Emerald states, Stated from Newsmax, there are high ranking officials in the Biden administration that are now saying that it most likely did come from the Wuhan lab and we need another actual investigation. But at the same time, CNN and the other Democrat state media outlets are out there smearing anybody who dares suggest that theory. So, a new study finds that people who got more of their news from conservative media and from social media we're also more likely to believe conspiracy theories about the coronavirus. What we found was that those beliefs intensify if you were exposed to conservative outlets and or social media, but they were minimized if you were exposed to mainstream print. For example, on the origins of the virus, how do we know it's not bioengineered? That's what the conspiracy theory says. China bioengineered it as, as a weapon. I mean, look, you have former top officials in the Trump administration who are experts who have breathed life into that. So you've also got people of stature who have said things like that. How do you, how do you stop people from drifting into that? How, how do you catch them 
as you say, before they do that, because it seems like once they're gone, they're kind of gone. What is she talking about? Yes, it's true that there are officials, experts that were in the Trump administration that haven't ruled out that it escaped from a Wuhan lab, but there's also Biden administration officials who haven't ruled out that theory. And it's not like it's easy to find this information. When I search on Google, I find almost nothing, but then I go and I do the same search on DuckDuckGo and lots of other articles appear. So this is clearly something the tech giants and elements of our mass media are trying to cover up. Kind of weird because it it wasn't long ago that CNN and figures from CNN came out and admitted that the investigation that we got from the World Health Organization wasn't very legitimate because we didn't get any actual forthcoming information from China. One year of the coronavirus pandemic in this country, questions remain over the origin of the virus. A new book reveals warnings from U.S. diplomats of risky experiments at a Wuhan lab in 2018. Joining me now, CNN political analyst Josh Rogan. He is the author of the new book, Chaos Under Heaven. The WHO is investigating now the origins of the virus. They visited a Wuhan lab and they put out a statement saying it's highly unlikely that the virus originated here. Your groundbreaking reporting from over the last year, which you expand on in the book, it really cast doubts on what the WHO is saying. Dr. Robert Redfield, the former CDC director, is speaking out for the first time, saying publicly where he believes the coronavirus that caused the pandemic came from. I think you're about to break some pretty significant news here. Yeah, I mean, this was this was extraordinary, John. On top of that, you got Democrats and their media out there saying that anybody who calls it the China virus is somehow inciting racial hatred towards Asian Americans. And they've even gone as far as to say simply criticizing China or calling China communist China does the exact same thing. Really sounds like they're trying to silence anybody critical of China. I don't know, folks, seems kind of weird that all these people who love investigating to get to the truth aren't at all interested in digging into this story and are way more interested in smearing anybody who dare suggest it. That's all I have for this one. Please hit that like button, share it, and subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow.